Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to be talking about uh, this tractor, the red one here. And this tractor, I think, holds the record for the one I've owned the least amount of time and I'm getting rid of. I'm going to go over why I'm getting rid of it and uh, so on. So the history on this is I acquired this back in late November, early December. And it didn't run. I brought it home and did a little bit of repair work. It's mostly the usual stuff, dirty carburetor, dirty spark plug, uh, stuff like that. But I liked it because, you know, it was my first venture into a standard transmission uh, as opposed to the uh, hydros on the Cup Cadets. And, you know, the plow was adjustable uh, from the operator station. You, know, you can angle the blade and raise and lower it with that lever there. And also the steering. Man, I really like the steering on this. It's really smooth. Uh, a lot less effort to turn it than the Cub Cadet. Uh, so anyway, I liked it. Uh, I got it fired up. It was running very well. I drove it around the yard a little bit, and I parked it in its parking spot out back. And we were, in December, going to get our first snow for the year. So I said, oh, well, you know, I'll take this out and see how it does. So I get it outside. Uh, you know, outside its little spot, and uh, you know, do all its prep work and got it ready for the snowstorm. Well, the snowstorm comes and it doesn't fire up at all, it doesn't even turn over. So I was like, huh, well, that's not good because I have about a foot of snow in the yard and I got to get rid of it. And as I was trying to crank it over, I noticed that there was smoke actually coming out of this ignition switch, so that wasn't good. So, um, yeah, so I, dis I disconnected the battery just to prevent a fire and uh, used my loader, which has been very reliable, to uh, clean up the snow that trip. And, uh, yeah, so I said, well, I don't want to get rid of it yet. So I did a little investigating, and I found out that there was no solenoid on this. All the current from the battery goes right through the ignition switch to the starter motor, which I guess was a common thing back in the 60s, uh, just to kind of save money and simplicity uh, of design. So anyway, I said, well, that's not proper. So I went to isavetractors.com, ordered a solenoid for it. I ordered a new wiring harness and batter, a key switch rather. And this is where I went wrong. Um, I assumed, and you know what they say about assuming, that this, because it was a Kohler K301, that it was going to be wired in the same manner that the Cub Cadets are. With the Cub Cadets have the points box, a coil, and a condenser back there. It's a battery ignition. Um, I just assumed, because this was the same engine, it would be the same ignition system, and that's where I went wrong. So this tractor, and the reason I'm getting rid of it, and I'll go into that in a second, has what's called a trigger ignition, which is a self-contained coil, ground, from my understanding, that's the ground out, and it's sort of like a magneto on a lawnmower, or similar. Um, I think there's a little bit of difference, but... So I looked on forums, and, uh, you, you know, this fell out of favor quickly. It was unreliable then, and if you can find parts that are used, um, you're going to spend a lot of money on the ignition system. Just replace an unreliable ignition with another unreliable ignition. So I made the decision to kind of see what we need to be convert this. I contacted Norman at iSafe Tractors. And he said it is possible to do a points of condenser conversion on this. You'd have to drill out the block and, you know, put the plunger on there for the points, the camshaft. Um, and at that point, I just said, you know what? I'm really not interested. Um, that's a lot more effort and more so time that I don't have to work on this. Uh, time for me is at a premium. So um, I decided to make the decision to sell it. Uh, so this is going to be going to its new home at iSafe Tractors. Um, gonna be offering this one up and 
and hopefully you can do the video which is i guess why he wants it on how to do the points and condenser uh conversion so like i said when i had it running it was a good running engine lots of compression uh you know i like the actual tooth starter as opposed to the uh belt starter that's on the the starter generator that's on the cub cadets um you know, it, it turns over fine. I mean, I wired it correctly. It just won't ignite because when I put the 12 volts DC into that coil, like I wired it as a, uh, as you would a battery ignition, I ended up frying the coil. So whatever life was left in it is gone. So, but yeah, just giving you an overview of this 1969 wheel horse Raider. Um, and why it's the shortest lift tractor I've ever had. Um, you know, I'm not opposed to them. They were, it was a decent little unit when it ran around the yard. And I pushed some rocks and leaves with it. But um, that's the solenoid I added. I was going to make that look a lot prettier when uh, I actually got it running. And had a minute to put, probably put a cover or something over that. Um, but that's it's not going to happen now. She's, uh, she's going to be out of here pretty soon. So... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this channel. And if you like this content or any of my content, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that like button um, to this video. That helps spread these videos around and, you know, makes me get a little more attention and that way I can produce some more content. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be safe. Have a good day.